Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor if you've never been here before and today we are back with another 100 baby Sunday. Now don't make fun of me for the Christmas tree. Um, it is November 1st. I'm recording this the day that it goes live and my boyfriend told me I can't put our Christmas tree up in the living room. <laughs> so I went, well, I'll put it in my office. So now we're going to have Christmassy, festive, bright, fun vibes and before anyone says anything, I am Canadian so we've already had Thanksgiving and I'm not gonna not enjoy something just because other people think I shouldn't. So that's where we're at. Let me have a Christmas tree. I didn't even decorate it. It's just the lights. It's the lights that bring me joy. It's a very gloomy day here in Toronto, so I just want to be happy. Just let me live, okay? <laughs> that's all. But we are here with the Hunter Baby Challenge. Uh, it's gonna be a pretty chill episode. I had a headache for the last two days and I've been so tired, so we're just gonna have some fun. We're just gonna play Penelope is living her best life and we're gonna see what happens. If you enjoy this video at any point throughout, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So it is 3.25 in the morning. We currently have three kids. One of them is playing instead of sleeping. So like all of them are awake. Um, Y'all are supposed to be asleep. <laughs> or the, to the toddlers aren't even asleep. What is going on? It's three in the morning. Go to sleep. Um, if anybody doesn't know, we moved in the last episode to this house here, the Salt House in San Mishuno. So we're living in a totally different world, which is pretty fun. But I kind of took the time to renovate this so that I could have a bunch of wind turbines and solar panels and everything and a dew collector just so we could have our bills be a little bit lower because they were getting a little out of hand. And if we show bills information, our bills are quite expensive just for this lot. It's 3,000 simoleons and we're selling a little bit of water but not very much power because our house is so large. But we turned on auto lights and we're going to try and do some other little things that might help maybe get some candles. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But this is our big, beautiful home. And now I'm like, oh, I wish I didn't move because I want to move to Mount Komorebi when I get my hands on that pack. So I'm kind of like, big mistake. Now, is Penelope pregnant? Yes, she's in her second trimester, hopefully having more than one baby. So I'm going to get Penelope to go use the toilet, take a shower, and then go ahead and make breakfast for the family. It's a Monday morning. We're going to need it. What should we cook? Let's see. Let's make something fancy because we are fancy people in this household. Apple pie for breakfast? Okay, like, <laughs> I feel like I just exposed myself by saying that because I'm like, oh, well, I hit 25,000 subscribers overnight while I was asleep and I had purchased a cheesecake to like kind of celebrate because it feels like a big moment and I'm very happy about it. So like, thank you guys so much, by the way. Thank you. Um, but I ate cheesecake. Well, like, technically I had leftover pasta from last night and then had cheesecake for breakfast. Like it's currently not even 9 a.m. <laughs> It's been an interesting morning so far. I put up a Christmas tree, I ate some cheesecake. I would say I'm living my, living my best life and no one can judge me for it. So that's where we're at. Now, are the kids good? So you should actually get your school promotion today. So should you. And Fig might become a B student because Fig is a little bit behind Kumquat and Cauliflower, which is fine. Fig is a little bit younger, so that's fine. Um, which baby, please just don't, don't go cry to your mom. Please, like you're, you have nothing else wrong with you. Just go nap. Just don't bug me. <laughs> like that's it. Don't go. Don't eat mac and cheese. Your mom's making you food. Go pee. <laughs> Use a bathroom somewhere and then come back to get some omelets for breakfast. We don't need to eat cheesecake and pasta for breakfast. <laughs> I've had mac and cheese for breakfast before. I'm not gonna lie to you. School starts in one hour. They can all go and eat together. Oh, why do I think that's so cute? Oh, <laughs> like the fact that they're actually sitting down for a meal together is like making my heart happy. How about we get the toddlers to wake up as well, even though their siblings are going to have to leave soon, but they can come over and grab themselves some food. They won't sit here. They'll sit over there, but it's still cute. <laughs> Penelope actually looks like a good mom here. <laughs> she never looks like a good mom. I need to start sitting up here. So I get headaches like every day, which is really annoying, but they come like all from my jaw because I have, I have tons of issues so i need to like stop sitting so slouchy now what do we have penelope working on right now we need we don't currently need more money so i might get her to keep working on this but then i'm like eh, she doesn't have that much time left in her life maybe we should just get these toddlers aged up and get her to work on it i feel like she should be a better parent than she actually is right now but it's penelope we can't really expect much from her uh okay go to school 
you stop eating and go to school, you come over here and go to sleep. And then while that's all happening, I guess, Penelope can go over. Do we have nicer? Can we have four computers in the house. These ones are at least a little bit nicer. And this can be where she writes her books. So we can resume writing, you rock, a celebration of you. Now I'm making sure that all of these kids get aged up today. I would like to get some of them to be teens. What are you doing? Why do the toddlers decide to not go to bed? Okay, they're going to bed now. Penelope, go upstairs. I want to get as much done with Penelope before she has her next baby. I know that you're tired. Just go to sleep. So we made 161 simoleons with royalties, which isn't really enough for like writing to be a good thing. So many pop-ups in this challenge. Okay. <laughs> like the, the joys of parenting. Uh, both toddlers are currently asleep. She's doing actually quite well. I'm really glad that I bought her hardly something, seldom sleepy, because <laughs> that's definitely helpful for me when it comes to getting her to stay up longer, get some stuff done. We also have like expressionistic, creative visionary, so she should make some good quality books. This one seems to be taking a while to write though. Uh, our bills have been delivered and we had a maid. I don't even remember getting a maid, but like I'll take it. <laughs> okay, Penelope, you're gonna have to pee really bad soon. So we can go get you to pay the bills. And then, honestly, we're just gonna have to get her to paint until we have another 3,000 simoleons in the bank because I can't not have money for bills. That's not okay. Both of these kids are still so tired. Do they have any skills yet? Oh, no, they do not. But they're like brand new toddlers, correct? I feel like they aged up at the very end of the last episode, so we should be okay. We should be fine. And then Penelope has 13 days until she's an elder. As much as I make fun of Penelope, like, I'm actually sad about it. Look how pregnant she is. Jeez. But I've heard what a great person you are. No, I can't donate to charity. We're poor. What do you think this is? Okay, so she made a large abstract painting worth a th like 1,100 simoleons, which is pretty sweet. But I'm going to get her to go and serve some more food just so that there's food for the toddlers and there's food for the kids when they get home from school. Fig, are you going to be? Yes. Okay, so she should also go ahead. Actually, do we have a cake? It's always a question is, do we have one? We do. We're beautiful, spectacular, and they came home with school projects and all of their grades are up. Um, but you don't get to age up today, Fig. So you can go ahead and work, whoop, whoop, work on your homework. And then these two can go blow out the candles. Yay. <laughs> Yay. So Cauliflower is currently a dog lover and a dance machine. <laughs> So we'll give you the animal aspiration. I like the hat. I'm feeling it. That's a vibe. You're cute, Cauliflower. Big fan. And then so many gifts are going to be sent. I can't wait. Kumquat, it's your turn. Kumquat is an art lover, gloomy, and wants to have a giant house. <laughs> Oh, I love just having the most random selection of traits for all of my children. It's fun. Fig, did you finish off your homework? Yes. So you should be able to age up either tomorrow or the next day. So that is good. If we get you to do your school project right here in the middle of the house, then you can get a little bit of extra credit. And then I need to get these Sims working on their homework as well. It's just constant homework time in this house. Penelope, go pee. Go pee, Penelope. Stop talking to your kid. Go to the bathroom. Thank you. The toddler should be waking up soon. This house feels very peaceful compared to the last one. Like, the last one felt very chaotic. This is kind of nice. I feel like I've got a hang of it. Oh boy, green gardening received the most votes for the community. I'm not going to garden. Okay, Penelope, it's time to be a mom after you eat that. <laughs> At least eat a little bit. And then I can get you to bathe this child. Poppy, I don't want to do whatever you're asking me to do. Uh, give a bubble bath to your child. Your homework is complete. Your homework is complete. But I need you to get some more skills, please. So let's turn on your earbuds. And then you can knit a beanie and get a little bit more of the skill <laughs> of the skill. Am I going to be okay? <laughs> I really like having this like toddler bathroom area. Like it, it's, it, I'm a big fan of it. Which child is this? Can we potty train them while we're here? Rhubarb, just constantly potty train rhubarb so that don't be defiant rhubarb, stop it. Listen to your mother. <laughs> Thank you. Thanking you very much. And then when you're done with that, you can do it again <laughs> because there's nothing more annoying than stinky toddlers. 
what why are you sick go over here <laughs> go use the toilet and then order yourself some medicine because this is what oh my gosh our sink is broken <laughs> okay i just said things are pretty calm here but now it's getting a little bit more chaotic with time uh no order medicine just one to make me feel better let's take the medicine so come quite what skills do you have you're almost at level three of knitting so i might just get you to finish oh you don't want to knit right now that's okay i'm not going to force you to do anything <laughs> go get yourself some leftovers then you can use the toilet take a shower and go to sleep because that's all we need to do in this game <laughs> use the toilet take a shower go to sleep use the toilet take a shower go to sleep eat and sleep and fig are you still working on your homework you are a sweet little angel baby and i don't know what i did to deserve you look at look at fig just working away <laughs> we're proud of fig but fig when you finish that you can eat dinner and then you can go to sleep as well and then we're gonna get mom to focus on the toddlers kind of like one at a time because like this toddler's in a decent mood but i would really like for them to have potty like, honestly, Penelope, I just need you to constantly potty train. I know that you have to use the bathroom, but I don't care. Strawberry spirit is fading away. Ooh, why did that make me sad? Because, like, there are old kids. <laughs> so sad. How about you go over here? Actually, go over here and play with the dolls for a bit. Potty train the kid one more time, and then you can go upstairs. I feel like I can just X that out, right? And he'll so just keep going. <laughs> oh, no, he got off the potty. They finally fixed the glitch. That sucks. <laughs> Uh, go grab yourself a serving. Are you hungry too? Yeah, you go grab yourself a serving and then mom will be right back to take care of you. <laughs> Is all of my other kids asleep? Okay, so Kale's doing okay now. I would like to finish the potty and then we'll give this one a bubble bath and try and potty train them as well. Um, rhubarb, come over here and we will get back to potty training because it's very important to me. It's extremely important to me no, you're not going to be defiant. I'm not dealing with that. I hate toddlers when they don't have the thinking skill, but I love them when they do. <laughs> so they don't have the thinking skill. They're so annoying. Finish that potty skill. Finish that potty skill. Heck yeah. Now you can give a bubble bath to Kale. And Rhubarb honestly can just come hang out. Live their life. Play dolls over and over again. <laughs> just live your life, queen. Okay, Penelope, you can stop now. <laughs> That kid doesn't even need to use the body. You don't have to keep going. But you can bathe this one and then potty train them, potty train them, potty train them until they are perfect, wonderful little baby specimens. <laughs> little baby specimens. Oh boy. Good job, Rhubarb. It's been an unfair advantage to Rhubarb because Kale slept longer and hasn't been potty trained yet. Penelope's in a terrible mood, but I kind of like it. Um, when she's done with that, honestly, like, we'll let this kid just be stinky for a while and not learn how to potty yet because Penelope needs to take care of herself. But we can just go around and what's that? Some stuff to get the thinking skill. Get that going. Just get all the skills, you know? And then you'll need to go to sleep soon. <laughs> so we got Penelope... Just cleaning up spoiled food, but she needs to pee before she does anything else. She's going to pee her pants. It's fine. <laughs> Get yourself some leftovers and we can go upstairs. No, no, you're not taking a shower first. Because I don't want you to have to walk all the way up the stairs. Penelope, why don't you listen to me? <sighs> My kids are actually doing quite well. You don't need to play on the dollhouse anymore because you have enough of the skill. Um, okay, Penelope, now you can go upstairs and take a shower and go to sleep for the day and your toddlers, I guess, will also go to sleep for a while. Except you're hungry. Can you deal with that first before you decide to do anything else? And I'll send you to sleep when you finish some of your tasks. Go to sleep and then my children will all leave and Penelope will sleep while the kids are at school. That's pretty smart. I'm not gonna lie. She didn't even finish eating, so she's still hungry. She's so annoying. <laughs> Penelope, why you gotta be like that? Why you gotta be like that? Fig, go to school. I don't care that you have to pee. You can pee at school. It's fine. <laughs> Fig. What is wrong with you? Why did you just pee your pants? Well... <laughs> what is going on? Go to school. You're going to school after you peed your pants. I don't care if you're embarrassed. Too bad. I don't want you here. Leave. Uh, 
Okay, Penelope, I need you to eat before- Why are you passed out on the floor? <gasps> Go to sleep, what are you doing? <sighs> okay. Go to sleep, and then you need to wake up. I'm gonna get her to work on more potty with that one because she's like she's she'll be fine she's not happy but she'll be fine <laughs> go potty train kale again we'll do it at any chance we get we don't need to know scholarships i'm sorry i understand that we have a teenager but stop telling me about it okay and then when you're done with that hopefully you can get upstairs to go pee before something bad happens <laughs> i know that you're miserable but you're gonna have a baby like any minute now <laughs> we will be giving birth in question mark question mark question mark so she pees her pants is now falling asleep in the bathtub and has gone into labor and is extremely tired. So let's just go ahead and have the baby. <laughs> oh boy. So I seem to have lost the list of names that I wrote down that you guys gave me for fruits and vegetables, but the name that's popping in my head is Banana. And now I can't remember if it's popping in my head because we haven't had a baby named Banana or because we have had a baby named Banana. So we're just going to go for it and name it Banana. And if this baby is... Okay, there's only one, so at least I don't have to come up with two names off the fly, because that would be very difficult. Um, but if we've already had a banana, I'm just going to play it like we named it after the first child or something. I don't know. I I had a whole list of things, like, right on my desk that were, like, all of the names that you guys gave me, and it's gone. Like, the sticky note is just gone. I don't know what happened to it. So, Penelope has to go back to sleep. The toddlers are going to have to fend for themselves for a while. Can you... Is it very warm in here? Oh, do I not have a thermostat? <laughs> Oh boy, and it's summertime, and we're in a heat wave, and I don't have a thermostat. <clears throat> and it's gonna cost me more in bills, and we're poor, and things are just not going well. Honestly, we might go back to a tiny home. <laughs> so let's set the thermostat to cooler before she goes ahead and goes to sleep. I really need to get- okay, I'm probably just going to replace this, because she's never gonna get around to actually cleaning it. Or fixing it, not cleaning it. Uh, B student, B student, B student. Are we surprised? <laughs> uh, can one of the teens, I don't know if I locked this door, but can you go into that room? Yes, perfect. Okay, change the dirty diaper and just get the baby to stop crying because I can't deal with the crying. And then turn on all of their earbuds. <laughs> Listen to some easy listening and get yourself some leftovers. You too, get yourself some leftovers and earbuds listen to or not listen to turn on easy listening so they don't focus on it okay your music's still on and you just need to take a shower you're going to do that on your own did you have a good day while you peed yourself <laughs> oh my children my children my children i told you to go get yourself food you little brat go get yourself some franks and beans and you can get yourself some franks and beans toddlers Ooh, this toddler is hungry <laughs> We don't need hungry toddlers. Hungry toddlers are angry and scary and I don't like it. Go get yourself some food there, little buddy. Go, 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 go. Walk fast. <laughs> this kid's probably going to age up way quicker than their twin because this kid has just had an easier go, it feels like. Oh boy, who died? Oh boy. Orange died? So this is Orange Cook. We now have what, three, four, five children who have died of old age? Orange has died, potato has died, avocado, strawberry, and of course our first child, pineapple. I'm feeling kind of sad about it, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna cry though. We're not gonna lie, but we're not gonna cry. Yay! <laughs> um, this kid, I'm gonna try and get the, this child to just age up as quickly as possible. So I can at least just have one toddler. Are you really that stinky? Ew. Ew. Go bathe, you freak. Bathe, eat, live your life, queen. Okay. You just go around and what's that? Some stuff. <laughs> what a funny question. Could just go, what's that? Just say, what's that? What? Why can't I, what's that, a light? <laughs> go, what's that, and babble, and then babble, and then babble. <laughs> Just go do some things, okay? You- I hate when they're tired, when like, they've never met Orange. They don't- like, I understand Penelope being- not tired, oh my god, I meant sad. I understand Penelope being sad because like, Orange was her child, like, she knew Orange, she understands who Orange is, but like, none of the other ones do, and that just is one of the most annoying things in the game. Like, if you've never met somebody, but like, they're technically your sibling, like, why would you be sad that they're dead? 
I guess he'd be like a little bit sad. I don't know. It's just weird. It's a weird part of The Sims. I don't really, I don't, I don't quite understand it, but that's fine. Okay, Penelope, go ahead and make some more food. Did you run out of things to do? Go over here and potty. Who's calling her now? She gets too many phone calls. No, I'm not letting my child set me up on a date. That's so weird. Why is everybody coming to hang out in the toddler room? The toddlers need to sleep. <laughs> what, why are you doing your homework in the toddler room? Just, I'm just going to send these three. Oh my gosh, he hasn't even eaten. He's eating now. I told them to eat immediately after school. Why are you the worst? Did you, you didn't even get your homework done? Oh my goodness. I just need to send them to sleep because they're annoying me. Penelope, are you cooking? Perfect. You're such a spectacular human being and we love you. Oh boy. Do you even have an outdoor garbage can? <laughs> we do not. I should get one of those. <laughs> At this point, I just need to send Penelope to bathe and go back to sleep so that she can be fully green when all of her kids wake up in energy because I can't deal with her being useless and she needs to get pregnant again. <laughs> But anyway, guys, I think this is a great time to end this episode. It's a little bit shorter because I'm a little bit tired and I still have a headache and my jaw hurts. So we're just like vibing with our Christmas tree, trying to have a good day. Was so I also like this the whole time? <laughs> I'm so slouchy. It's not good. It's not good. I'm sorry. <laughs> but if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. I post almost every day on this channel. So if you like The Sims and you like me, join the family. We just passed 25,000 subscribers. There's a lot of us. Can I have a lot of friends? Anyway, I hope you're having an awesome day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye everybody.